Hello my dear friends, you are on the Military Summary channel and this short video we are going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous night and the, the events that we haven't discussed during the previous video as well. And first we are going to start with the Bradley Square where the Ukrainians probably this third day in a row are trying to attack the Russian positions to defend their bridgehead in the south of Rabotina. As you can see, uh, if you follow the map, I have updated uh, this map and currently we have moved the red cloud from the this small field uh, to the southeast and currently as I understand according to the video we had during the previous day the Ukrainians um, or established control or these territories in the gray zone and the Russians were to, uh, forced to step back anyway for now this territory is in the gray zone because this is the main battlefield and today we got more updates and more videos from this bridgehead for example the Russians uh, from the ground have already uh, made uh, some pictures and um, pictures showing us the results the fresh footage of destroyed Ukrainian armored vehicles there on this uh, photo you can see leopards you can see bread lace and many many other types of weapon furthermore today we got uh, another videos from exactly from this forest line we see another destroyed Ukrainian convoy of armored vehicles uh, for some reason the Ukrainians took a decision to collect them at one place and after that the Russians managed to uh, attack them using the uh, artillery systems and destroyed at least I believe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten armored vehicles that were collected together uh, and this video is geolocated these events all these events took place uh, along this forest line furthermore the Russians published more videos of uh, failed Ukrainian attempt to attack. As you can see today is 11th of July, the, basically the Ukrainians launched this operation yesterday and right before the beginning of summit in NATO, but I believe that they wanted to achieve completely different results during this attack, but as you can see they have achieved nothing, they lost another um, like portion of, of forces and uh, they were completely defeated but uh, the Russians are saying that currently the Ukrainians launched the fourth wave of attack basically yesterday there was three waves of attack two waves of attack yesterday one wave of attack took place at night and currently let's say at 8 a.m. of the local time the Ukrainians launched the fourth wave of attack and basically we see the Ukrainians direction currently they're trying to attack uh, to uh, the uh, southeast uh, and probably from this territory, from these fields, they will try to develop their bridgehead in many sites. And now, of course, uh, this uh, attack will try, the Ukrainians using this attack will try to solve the issue with the southern fortification area between Verbova and Rabotina. This one, I will update this uh, map for you. So they will try to solve this issue and it will give them probably some operational square to start offensive operation in Virbovo from Malatakmachka. But for now, as you can see, the price that Ukrainians are forced to pay for this offensive operation is too high, I believe so. Uh, before we move further to Avdiivka and to Krimina Forest, just an interesting update we got today from Odessa. Uh, there is a video today, there was a very heavy explosions inside of this uh, settlement, inside of the city. On this video it's very difficult to understand what is happening, but uh, maybe you have seen this video. And basically the sources are saying that the Russians start bombing Odessa port. Odessa port and basically this is the first attack, uh, if it's true, if this piece of information is correct that means that the Russians uh, have uh, started bombing Ardia support and this is the first attack since the signing of Green Deal so basically it's some kind of note some kind of uh, like a message to the Ukrainians that the Russians are no longer uh, planning to prolong or continue the Green Deal and of course from uh, Ukrainian side this is a complete disaster and as you can see the Russians started bombing Ardia support of the night of uh, the beginning of NATO summit in the Baltic states. Now we are moving to Avdiivka. We got also a lot of very interesting updates from this bridge. Had more and more Russian military experts confirms the information, the piece of information that we discussed yesterday that the Russians, as a result of uh, all actions and activity on this front line, managed to establish fire and complete control over the last supply road that goes from Odessa in direction of the mainland and currently, according to the Russian military experts, Avdiivka is appeared in operational encirclement. The Ukrainians currently are trying to attack the Russians, trying to release the flank the main attacks that Ukrainians uh, took made yesterday was in direction of 
Uh, Krasnopopovka and Vesola. This is the main Ukrainian attack, and this night the Ukrainians made another attack in direction of Vadyana Oputne in this area. But the Russian military expert uh, Rybar reported that the Russians managed to repel that attack in direction of Vadyana Oputne, and after that, the Russians launched their own counter offensive operation. And as a result of uh, the Russians' counter offensive operation, the uh, Russian forces managed to return control over the trenches uh, in front of Severna. And basically, and currently, the Russians controls uh, this part of uh, the bridgehead. So they got as close as possible to Severna and Tonika. And it also, this situation also helped the Russians to improve the operational circumvent of Avdiivka. So we see that situation and this area is critical for the Ukrainians and for now the Ukrainians don't have like any idea or even chances or even like normal doctrine how to prevent the encirclement of the settlement and knowing the Ukrainian tactics and their uh, that they used in the past uh, I understand that Ukrainians are not planning to step back from Avdiivka and they will make another brotherhood cemetery in the settlement from the forces of Ukrainian army and now we are moving probably to the most important as I understand the bridgehead to the most important area uh, I'm talking about the Liman front line and uh, during the previous day there was a very fierce fightings uh, in the area exactly between Kupensk and Liman front lines this Kupensk front line this is Liman front line and uh, the sources are saying that the Russians yesterday uh, this is Zhiribets river uh, I will mark it with the blue line for better understanding. So this is uh, Zhiribets river and basically as you can see the combat line and the front line in this area was uh, split by the river. The eastern side, the eastern bank of this river was under Russian control, the western bank was under Ukrainian control. But the sources are saying that yesterday the Russians managed to um, create uh, a very powerful offensive operation uh, from Karamzinovka in direction of Ukrainian positions on the Ukrainian bank of the river and they managed to cross Zhiribets river and as a result of fierce fightings they managed to establish bridgehead on the Ukrainian side of Zhiribets river. Uh, the Ukrainian forces who were protecting this territory were defeated, completely destroyed and were forced to step back. After that the Ukrainians of course uh, have accumulated their own attack fist and launched significant number of reserves in the this bridgehead trying to push the Russians back from this bridgehead and we got the video confirmation of that the Ukrainians sent a lot of armored vehicles a lot of tanks a lot of uh, different types of weapons a lot of infantry but the Russians were expecting them as you can see this video is geolocated uh, as you can see uh, there is um, I will tell, show you. You see that this is small passage, this like yellow fields, and there is two forest lines. You see this area, and if we take a look at this map, we're gonna find this here. This is the this that passage. So the main clashes took place exactly on these fields where the Ukrainians were trying using the broad front line attack, some significant number of armed vehicles trying to force the Russians to leave this bank of the river, and the main purpose of the Ukrainians was to destroy the Russian bridgehead on this side of Zhiribets River, but all the Ukrainian attempts to attack failed. They lost significant number of infantry, significant number of tanks, armored vehicles. There were a lot of losses among the Ukrainians and the Ukrainians were forced to step back. So basically we see that uh, this is a very important piece of news because the Russians managed to establish the very powerful and stable bridgehead on the Ukrainian side of Zhiribets river. And currently from these positions, the Russians will try to develop their offensive operation or at least they can develop their offensive operation further to the west of this bridgehead and after that at some point they can turn to the south and start movements in direction of Liman direction. So because as we know this is the only solution for the Russians to encircle and to attack the Ukrainians is to attack from the north to the south. We will follow this situation in, in uh, on this bridgehead because uh, you know that uh, it's a very interesting attack, very important attack and don't forget that uh, these days the Russians also try to advance in the vicinity of Novosilovskaya and today the Ukrainians published the video how they were bombing and shelling the Russians using drones. This is checkpoint 
point or st small stronghold this video is also geolocated and the Ukrainians claims that this st stronghold was controlled or maybe currently is under control of Russian forces and they were just trying to bomb the Russian forces in that stronghold so basically this video confirms that the Russians during the previous days managed during the offensive operation direction of Novoselovsk managed to develop their bridgehead and also capture this small territory so very interesting developments exactly on the northern flank of Liman and on the southern flank of Kupinsk so basically the Russians are attacking like somewhere on the border of these two uh, front lines and that's it for this short update military summary channel reminds to condemn any violence in the world thank you for watching subscribe to my channel put your likes join my patreon and have a good day bye bye